Christopher, I really enjoyed your recent think piece. You call them think pieces, actually, from Helgarten and Company. Uh, Bricks, the company one keeps. Can you tell me why you selected or decided to do an update on Bricks? What news story was the catalyst? Uh, the summit that the five Bricks nations had in the last fortnight in Cape Town. Um, I'm not sure if it was their second gathering, but it's it's um, it's a new concept that's appeared on the stage uh, quite recently. Now, some of the news stories about that particular summit are stating that um, they feel that the West really needs to pay attention and BRICS is going to be a formidable competitor for the G7. What are your thoughts on that? And by the way, I cannot wait to hear your response on this. Um, well, um you know, some of these countries are on the rise, um, some of them have risen, and some of them are falling. And definitely um, Russia is, is in free fall economically and um, diplomatically and um, you know, it's just persona non grata everywhere. Um, South Africa does not have a great reputation economically. Um, it's, it's, um, ongoing power problems and you know, other things. And, you know, strategically it's a great um, mineral province, but not much else. Um and yet countries like India are storming ahead, you know, they're rising in the GDP world. So it's a very disparate group. Um, and, you know, the G7 have a lot more uh, commonality between them than these five countries do. These are just sort of cobbled together, in fact, because um, Goldman Sachs invented the concept of BRICS as a way to sell emerging market shares in the 1990s. You couldn't sell a Russian share these days. You can't even trade a Russian share anywhere except Moscow. So um, it's it's sort of like a, a strange concept that was invest, invented for investors that has now been morphed into like a diplomatic sort of stick to beat the West with. And the West, frankly, is not feeling the blows from um, from this development. It's just like a bit of a bit of a, a blunt blunt instrument. Well, um, you specifically write in your report, Goldman's brainchild disowned. Would you like to give us kind of the kind of yeah, Goldman little has background been, been on that? They they invented this to sell shares of Pemex, oh, not Pemex, Tomex and Telegrass back in the 90s. Um, uh, you know, they haven't even talked about it for ages now. And and the actual uh, strategist of the Goldman said, um, you know, this is not what we were talking about in the 1990s. And why we invented this, and it's it's outdated. I mean, virtually, if you, if you remember back to the time in the late nineties when this was invented, people said, "What about Thailand? What about this one? And what about Indonesia? And what about that? Why were they left out of the BRICS?" I and mean, the BRICS, of course, was a, a pretty easy concept. You took four letters, you put them together, and you, you came up with something that's pronounceable. Once you throw all these other countries in, it's unpronounceable. And so, uh, you know, it's just soundbite. Um, and Goldman sort of like moved on, Every, and everybody else moved on. The only people are sort of like grasping at it as, as something, as a concept that they can uh, read life into as uh, Chinese diplomats. And um, unfortunately, it's, it's a bit like a balloon that's got a hole in it. It can blow as much as you like, but it's not going to inflate. Well, I recommend everybody out there interested in finding out more. I, I certainly enjoyed this think piece, Christopher, thank you. Please go to the following website for Hal Halgarden Plus Company. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you.